Whoa, I didn't notice you guys there. I didn't notice this camera that I totally set up to record this video at all to unbox the collector's edition for Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain. So let's just wrap, unwrap. I'm just gonna say wrap this off. I'm I'm dumb. Let's just let's just I'm just gonna do this. Feel like I just sound like Woody Woodpecker there, <laughs> but it is all good because I unboxed it. Now, oh, how does this work? How does this work? Well, here's it. Why is it? It's like sticking to it. What the? Well, I guess so. Why you gotta? Why you gotta be so confusing? Oh, oh, ew. I guess you are just supposed to pull it off. Yeah, I don't like that. I feel like I'm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I'm breaking it. A nice little fox emblem at the bottom. Just gonna put that to the side there. Oh, uh, now it's got all these sticky things on it. I don't, I don't like that, but we got this nice diamond dogs and this nice packaging. Very nice. Ugh, I gotta pull this thing off the way. Oh, maybe I don't. Maybe it'll just do that. How does this work? I guess it works like this, maybe? Okay, that was a little shaky there. Uh, well, first off, we got the game. It comes with the game. I'd hope my collector's edition would come with the freaking game. And then, oh, we have some Velcro stuff in here. Yay, Velcro. No, no, it's, it's, there's like no point to that, but we have the shiny steel case. This is like my kryptonite. I see this in a collector's edition. And I'm just like, I want that. <laughs> and it comes with a uh, spoiler. Uh, the Phantom Pain Metal Gear Solid Kingdom of the Flies contains it. Uh, you can. I don't know. It's like a movie or something. Oh, it's a. It's, there we go. It was upside down for me. Now it's not. It's like a movie or something. I'm not quite sure what it is to be honest. And I own it. This is how confusing Metal Gear is. This, Metal Gear is confusing. And then we have eh, the last item in here, I think. Pretty sure. If you haven't guessed what this is yet. And I'm yeah, pretty sure this is the last item in here. Gonna close that up to talk about this thing here. Hey guys! Fab, yeah. It is a replica of Snake's Bionic Arm in The Phantom Pain. And he gives this review a thumbs up. Maybe. Oh, is that how thumbs ups work? <laughs> Hopefully. <sighs> I like this. I can have unlimited high fives now. <laughs> ha! Now, like, whenever. This is pretty cool. I didn't know you could, like, move the fingers and stuff. That's cool. I like that. It's kind of. Wait, what's that? Form holding lever hatch. Oh, it's just. It's just like a. I want this plastic out. I want the plastic out. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. I guess. I'm, not, I'm way too immature and having way too much fun with this. Yeah, this is a lot smaller than I thought this would be. Oh, that's what she said. Still pretty cool. Pretty cool thing. Thing. I don't know what else to really call it other than a thing. It gets a, it's a replica of an arm. This will get all the ladies. But it's nice to know that I never need to slap someone. Or like, if I'm like going to deal with someone, or just like, how about I just slap them in the face with this? And I'm just like, ah. And now I would like actually show you a montage of me like slapping my friends with this. And that would be awesome, except that I don't have any friends. Because I'm so lonely. But I don't need friends now that I have this freaking awesome game where I can sneak hug people and they might die afterwards. That might be why I don't have friends. Also, I can high five this as much as I want. So yeah, who needs friends when you have Metal Gear Solid 5? This is all I need. Ha! Ah. Anyways, uh... So yeah, this was the collector's edition for Metal Gear Solid 5 fan pain. Comes in a box. Very nice box. 
feel like this was kind of anticlimactic, though, you know? You know, it came with all this stuff. It's got some... It has some DLC, I guess. It's supposed to have a map. I'm gonna find this map. And here's the DLC that it mentioned in the game. It was... It was being a sneaky sneak, like snake. <sighs> They're trying to hide everything because it's Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, and they try to hit the map of the whole place. Eh, no, open up map. Open up. Open up. That's pretty cool stuff. Open up, open up, open up, open up. Now I can ruin this uh, priceless collector's edition and mark off where I've been. And it'll be good times all around. Oh, I hate, I hate this. Why did I open it up? Uh, of course. Hey! I suck at doing it, but I've been lucky lately with these kind of map things. And then there's the game, and I'm pretty sure that's everything else. Just gonna double check. So yeah, this was Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain Collector's Edition. It's pretty cool stuff. Just, I don't know. Felt like it's a little anticlimactic. So I'm gonna give this like an 8 out of 10. Actually, no, I'm gonna give it a weird out of, a weird but cool out of 10. Uh, the reason is, the reason is that, uh, it comes with some pretty cool stuff, but it's also weird, like, a replica of an arm. Well, I know it's a bionic arm, but still, that's pretty weird, but it, you can rock, rock on with it, baby. Rock on it. <laughs> don't, don't rock on it. I don't know, maybe if you want to rock on it, then rock on it. I want this plastic stuff out. How do I get it out? That's annoying me. So yeah, that also detracts from the points. But yeah, and I also feel like there wasn't quite a lot of stuff. Like there's DLC that you get in a cool box and a poster and a movie or something. I put my hand in Snake's arm. I mean my arm. I have a, I have an arm on my finger. This is bizarre. I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm stuck in this world of mine right now. It's gonna take us off. But rock on everybody. Rock on. So yeah, uh, and it's not a lot of stuff. It's cool stuff. Weird, weird but cool. I feel like there could have been something else in it. Maybe like a soundtrack or something. I don't know. Something for more bang for your buck. You know what I mean? This was a f for collector's editions. It's like on the average, I'd say, but it's still kind of pretty expensive, and I feel like there could have been some more stuff in it. But I can see why this would be pretty expensive, because like it's got moving parts and stuff, and it's pretty nice. It's small though, so yeah, I was expecting I don't know, like this big. Just, just you know, food for thought. Well, video games for thought. Food doesn't really apply here. So yeah, this was Metal Gear Solid. Wait, I'm poor. Yeah. No, you gotta be fancy with the pinky out, you know? That That's how I roll. Fancy. Or, you know, I could do the Dr. Evil thing, and I won't have to win million subscribers. Was that dumb? That was dumb. Anyways, this has been going on far too long. Thanks for watching, everyone. This was a Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pains Collector's Edition unboxing. You know, thanks for watching, and as always, <laughs> Stay classy.